yeah good morning students in this video i will be discussing on what is the criteria to form a good network okay one second yeah so a network must be able to meet few important criteria to say that uh, the network is good so the first one is the performance the second one is reliability and the last one security so these are the three important parameters that needs to be satisfied in order to say a network is a good network so let's see what is this performance what is this reliability and what is this security one by one so coming to performance so performance can be measured in many ways so normally we are measuring in terms of transit time and also response time or we can call it as a transmission time okay so what is transit or transmission time it is the amount of time required for a message to travel from one device to another device for example there is one system 1 and system 2 the time taken to transfer the data from one system to the other system we call it as a transmission time okay and the second one is response time it is nothing but the elapsed time between an inquiry and a response so the delay we can say okay so here again some animation so this is what the request and the response so this is how you can measure the performance of the uh, any system during the data communication so in a simple way i can say the time taken between the sender and the receiver to transmit the data should be very less and also the delay also should be less so based upon that we can judge how good the network is so the performance of the network is mainly depends upon three things that is the number of users using the media the type of transmission media that you are using so whether you are using the coaxial cable or twisted pair cable or optical fiber cable so based upon that also we can say uh, the performance is increased or decreased and also the efficiency of the software that you are installed in that particular communication channel okay so these are the three important parameters are the uh, uh, device uh, what i call say uh, things or entities that mainly depends upon the performance so the performance is often evaluated by two networking parameters that is throughput and delay okay just now i told you transmit time and the response time so we can uh, measure in terms of throughput as well as delay so what is throughput throughput is the rate at which something is processed or i can say the rate of successful message delivery over a communication channel for example there is sender 1 and sender 2 sender 1 is transmitting data to sender 2 if i am transmitting five packets from uh, sender 1 to sender 2 so how many packets are successfully received at the uh, sender 2 or a receiver we call it as a transmission uh, throughput so i can say still in a simple way throughput is nothing but the number of packets that are successfully received by the receiver that's what the rate of successful message delivery over a communication channel we call it as a throughput or i can say network layer refers to the amount of time it takes for a packet to go from one point to the another point you can say it is somewhat delay so this is what the throughput and delay so don't confuse with the throughput and delay throughput is nothing but the number of packets that are successfully transferred at the receiver side whereas delay is nothing but the time taken to reach that packet like 10 packets are received so we can say it is throughput is 10 so each packet has took 2 seconds to transfer from source to destination then i can say delay is 2 so mainly we can measure the performance in this throughput and delay so next is reliability very very important so network reliability is measured by the frequency of failure the time it takes a link to recover from the failure so normally we will think that reliability means always the system should work 24 bar 7 no so reliability is not like a working or uh, the system should not fail for a longer time it doesn't mean that the failure of the system will happen so once the system get failed how much time it has taken to recover it back so during that we can measure the reliability okay so the time taken to recover back by any system once the system get failed we call it as the reliability so always we uh, uh the recovery time should be very less okay so here i have given one more point the probability of the system keep being available 
for certain period of time so not to get failure always so it doesn't mean that it should not fail that's what i am telling if it failed so the how much time it has taken to recover back that shows the how much good the system is so and the last one is security so security is nothing but uh, giving some authentication to the user for user authentication as well as in order to protect the data we need to uh, maintain the confidentiality of data so here are some network uh, security issues protecting data from unauthorized access protecting data from damage and development implementing some policies and procedures for recovery from uh, breaches and data losses if something happens wrong and if the data get lost then there should be some mechanism to recover that data so these are all various services that uh, uh, network is providing in order to achieve these uh, uh, recovery and other authentication techniques first one is authentication so every user should get an authentication mechanism in order to prove himself that he is the authorized person the second one is confidentiality means uh, the data that you are sending should be protected so using some uh, encryption techniques you can uh, encrypt the data so that you can save your data from the hackers and integrity so the data that you are sending should not be modified using some replay attacks or modification attacks that needs to be received as it is means this we should maintain the integrity of data and the last one is non repetition very very important so yeah, we need to trust the third party whenever you are transmitting the uh, data using some kerberos tools and other things which you will see in the upcoming videos uh, sometimes whenever we are sharing some private keys so we need to trust the third party so there we need to take care of reputation all those things that all we will see in the upcoming videos okay so these are the three important uh, uh, criteria that we need to may, uh, meet in order to say that the network is good so that is performance reliability and security so once again i will just tell the definitions performance is nothing but how fast the system is it is measured in terms of transmission time and the response time nothing but throughput and delay throughput is nothing but the number of packets that are successfully transferred and the delay is nothing but the time it has taken to transmit a single packet from source to destination the other one is reliability so it is nothing but how efficient the system is means it has to work for a longer time so in case the system get failed how much time it has taken to recover back that time should be very less okay and the last one is security so there should be some security mechanism or the policies uh, in order to protect the user as well as the data okay thank you hope so you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos bye